What's up, y'all? It's Friday afternoon, about 4.15, the Friday after the Thursday ammo video y'all always seeing. Getting a start to the week early. It's about 4.15 in the afternoon. I just got word that old Rural King got some stuff in down there. So we're getting ready to run down here, see if it's anything good. And if so, I'll let y'all take a look at it. All right, y'all, they got some decent stuff in here. Got some nine hollow point, 24.99. Some 40 hollow points. I think he said 17 on that. Got a bunch of 38 special hollow points, 16.99, 24 on the 40 Smith and Wesson, Sintec, 380 up here for 20 bucks, 20.99. I think he said it was. They actually got some 30, 30 right here for 24.99. Rest of it's the same stuff, but they got some good stuff in here right now. A lot of hollow points in here. Morning, y'all. It is 9:30 on Saturday morning. And we are headed to the Rural King. Uh, as I'm sure all y'all heard by now, I've got plenty of messages and comments about it. And there's about a thousand videos up almost instantly about it over the Russian import ban. Uh, for right now, there's really, for all intents and purposes, nothing changed except for in the eyes of these manufacturers and distributors, it's a new excuse for them to raise their prices. That, that's all that happened yesterday. We got a new excuse for them to raise prices across the board, not just on steel, but all also on brass it's just going to happen it's absolutely going to happen so it is what it is but anyway i'm gonna run up here to the rule king i'm wanna i actually like i say i'm not panicking i don't want anybody else to panic y'all shouldn't be panicking uh but i am gonna run up here they had a bunch of 762 they have had it in there y'all seen it uh i just want to take a look at the prices and i probably will get some uh, i'm not gonna get too crazy but i'll probably get some but let's run up in here and see what's going on all right y'all in here on the saturday they got a lot of the same stuff they had yesterday a bunch of the monolithic left bunch of 38 hollow points left the 10 as usual they got the 40 smith and wesson syntec 24.99 bunch of the venom and here's the 762 steel case they got the wolf for 8.99 and tula for 9.98 so it looks like it's going pretty quick Here's, as y'all saw before, they got brass K762 here, so that's what's going to happen, you know, and it's just going to jack up the prices on it, but the rest of it, about the same as what they had, so we're going to get us a little bit of this stuff anyway. All right, y'all, made it out to Rural King. They still had a pretty decent amount of stuff left from yesterday when we was in there, some of that good stuff, those hollow points. Really surprised they still sitting on all those 38 special hollow points, but those will probably be gone pretty quick. Um, we did pick up some 76239. I hate to have to pay that much for it, but and I don't have to, but I feel like who knows what's going to happen. The uncertainty is the thing. You know, I'm not panicking over it, and I've got a, a right good amount, but uncertainty is, you know, that's that's something you just, I'm going to prepare for. That's just how it is. So let's get back to the house and we'll hit it another day. All right, y'all. Thursday has snuck up on us again already. So we're going to make our rounds today, see what they got out there. I'm real curious right now. Um, we ain't been up there since this weekend. So I'm curious what that 762 by 39 is looking like, the steel case stuff. They still had some wolf and some tool up there, y'all saw. Uh, I did get right much of that wolf. I'll show y'all when we get back to the house. But I'm curious what the situation is looking like now. So we'll go up in there and check it out and see what they got. And I'll let y'all take a peek. All right, y'all. They got a couple things to look at in here. They got some 45 ACP, 50 bucks for 100 rounds. Still got a plenty of that monolithic hollow points. Got a bunch of normal 270 whitetail, 21.99. That's a good price on that. Still got the Venom overpriced Turkish, 25 bucks. Still got 762.39 brass down there, normal 12.99. Actually, still got some Red Army Standard 54R, 300 Win Max. Still got all that, 26.99. But as you can see here, the 762 by 39, the Wolf and the Tula, is all gone. The tool of 54 R is all gone. Still got the arms core 308. It's a good price. Still got this green tip, but yep, the steel case ammo is disappearing already. All right, y'all, made it out to Rural King. They had a couple decent little things in there. Some of the stuff gone, some new stuff. That 45 is in there. We did grab a box of that. Um, as y'all can see, the steel case Russian stuff is going quick, dude. It's already, the panic's already ensuing. All the 762 by 39 was gone. All the tool of 54R was gone. They did still have a bunch of Red Army Standard 54R. Maybe people don't understand that that's the same stuff. 
Uh, but it's going quick for sure. People are already panicking. But let's run in here to the Dunhams. I'll be curious to see if their 762 by 39 steel is wiped out also, even with the prices they're charging. So let's run up in there and take a look. All right, y'all. Dunham's looking about the same. We got that 5.7 up there still. 45 bucks. Still got the same nines. All the same defensive nines. 37 bucks. 25 for the FMJ Federals. They do got some thousand round cases of Remington UMC down here. 400 bucks. Some more bulk packs. 100 dollars for 200. Got some 40s there. FMJ 32 dollars. All this is the same as what y'all usually see. Got some 10 millimeter HSTs here for uh, 200 grains for 45 bucks. 45. That stuff looks super high. 100 rounds of 45, y'all. $76 that we just saw at Rural King. Different brand for 50 bucks. Got the Thunderbolt 22s, 50 bucks. Bunch of 223, 556 still, always high in here. 223 silver tips, $32. One thing I am curious about is the 76239. They still got 762 by 39 in here. Red Army Standard, $12.99. Really surprised it ain't gone yet. He's got the Wolf for $12.99. Got more wolf down here. Well, yeah, it's got a. They got it marked down to nine ninety nine now. Wolf or the Red Army nine ninety nine. So honestly, uh, people will probably buy that pretty quick if they come in here and know it's and see it on the sale. So I'm really surprised they still got it to be honest. But other than that, about the same stuff. All right, y'all. Same stuff in Dunham's and pretty much the same prices. However, I got to give them a little bit of credit for marking that 762 by 39 the Wolf and the Red Army Standard down to $9.99. I'm not saying that that's a good price, but right now, uh, as y'all know with this sanction stuff, uh, all the prices online basically went up to over 50 cent a round overnight on pretty much all of it. So right now they got it right there for 50 cent a round. So I'm surprised they hadn't gone yet, but I guess if you need it, they, there it is for 50 cent a round. Um, but anyway, let's run up here to the local shop. There's really not nothing in here I want. I might get some more of that good deal on that 45 hollow point, but I don't know if I will or not. I probably will get a box or two more of it, but I'll run in there and then we'll get to the house and I'll show y'all what we got this week. All right, y'all made it back to the house after another successful week on the ammo hunt. And we got some really good stuff this week. Really good stuff. Some of it at some really good prices too. So, uh, I ain't going to dilly dally along. We're going to go ahead and show y'all what we got. So, first trip, first day, we went into Rural King, and y'all see they had tons of, of stuff that is pretty hard to come by these days. 38, 40, 380, all kind of stuff. A lot of nice hollow points. So, as you can see here, the first thing we picked up was four boxes of Ammo Ink 38 Special 125 Grain Jacketed Hollow Point. I was really surprised to see this stuff in there and to be honest with you even more surprised at the price on it uh these 20 round boxes of 38 special hollow point were only 16 dollars and 97 cents so 16.97 for a 20 round box of 38 special hollow point right now that's a super deal super deal on it uh so i got four boxes and as y'all can see in the last trip, they all gone at this point, but they had a bunch of them in there y'all saw in that first clip. So four boxes of those, $16.97. Excellent deal, excellent score there. So that same day, y'all saw they had some Winchester Silver Tip 40 Smith & Wessons, 155 grain defensive jacket and hollow point for the 40 Smith & Wesson Silver Tips. Only thing I even run 40 out of is my, uh, my Glock 20. So you can see just standard silver tip hollow points really good stuff there so i got a box of these mainly for testing and all these were also super super good price on these 20 round boxes of 40 smith and wesson jocketed hollow point fourteen dollars and 99 cent fourteen dollars and 99 cent for a 20 round box of 40 hollow points super good deal right now uh and then the last thing we got that day 
was something else that's that's hard to come by at a decent price right now you can find it and my look people ask me about this all the time my local shops always got it but it's not the greatest price on it so i, I don't ever pick any up and people always ask me why don't i ever pick up any 380 well because I'm, I'm waiting on for a good prices on it so this time they had good prices on it in rural king so 380 just regular old full metal jacket 95 grain full metal jacket 380 boxes of 50 these were twenty dollars and 99 cent so basically 21 bucks for 380 full metal jacket 50 round boxes right now super good deal super good deal on it so we picked up a couple of those uh, and that was it for that first day at the rural king the, the following day, well not the following day, but the next time we went in there was, uh, actually I'll, I'll skip that and I'll leave that till last. We'll, we'll jump ahead here to this, uh, to what we got picked up today. So, went in there and they had a bunch of boxes of 45 ACP arms core, 230 grain, just regular 230 grain, jacketed hollow point, arms core with the brass jacket on it. So. We got a hundred rounds of that. These, as y'all saw in there, were $49.99. So basically 50 bucks for a hundred rounds of uh, 45 ACP. Right now, not bad at all. Not a bad deal at all on that. So got one box of that. They had several loads. We could have got as much as we want, but being full metal jacket, I just picked up one of them because we got some more stuff. I'll show y'all here in a minute. So thought that was an, uh, another good deal. So, so far, my opinion, all of this super good deals right now. Absolutely super good deals. So the local shop, today we picked up a couple few things there. Show y'all what we got. First thing we picked up was a couple more boxes of that 45 ACP jacketed hollow point from last week. Now, last week I said 27 bucks. This is actually 27.99 I noticed in there today. So might as well say 28 bucks, but 27.99 for 50 rounds of jacketed hollow point. Uh, that, this is a super deal. I really can't understand why this is so inexpensive. I mean, it's not no fancy brand of hollow point, but it's 45 ACP hollow point, 185 grain uh, brass case. So 50 rounds at $27.99. I mean, that's that's not much more than the than the uh, FMJ. So they, they still got several more boxes of that up there too. So I'll probably get a couple more in this coming week, to be honest with you. I mean, it's just a super good deal on that stuff. So two boxes of that. And then they had one box left of Federal American Eagle 357 Magnum 158 grain jacketed soft points in there. So just 158 grain. Soft point 357 Magnum had one single box of this left. This was $32.99. So not a super good deal, but right now not bad at all. So $32.99 for a 357 jacket of soft point. And uh that was all I got. So now let's backtrack to the to the elephant in the room here. I've had several people ask me about it. We've done seen hundreds of videos on YouTube, clickbaiting and fear mongering and all this jazz on it. So let's talk about the Russian imported ammo. So my my thing on this Russian imported ammo is we knew this was coming. One of my very first videos I ever made on YouTube, uh, it's been deleted now because YouTube decided to age restrict it. But one of the first videos I ever made was what should you buy now before it's too late. One of the main things I emphasized was imported ammunition. It, it was just a matter of time. Anybody with any brains knew it was just a matter of time before sanctions were put on imported ammunition because that's the one thing he doesn't need congressional approval and the whole everybody going with it to bipartisan blah blah blah. He can easily do that. And I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm surprised it took this long. So everybody should have known that was coming. And was I prepared? Absolutely. Before I even show you what I got, save all the ones who want to jump into comments and, oh, you should have been prepared. I've got blood. Look, I've got thousands of rounds, thousands, multiple thousands of rounds of 762 by 39. That's not the point. The point here is uh, if you read that sanctions, uh, it's, it's just a fact. This is a fact. And not only is this going to affect the steel case Russian ammunition, it's going to trickle on down the line or on up the line, whichever way you want to look at it. And it's going to affect every single round of ammunition in this country. If you don't think the prices on the ammunition are about to go up again, I, I don't even know what to help you. Help you is all I can say. It, it only makes sense that 
uh, for various reasons when people now granted there there's there's still a lot of this in the country already and the people who do have current import permits will have that until they run out but then after that it's it so it's not a matter of if it's just a matter of when it is going to happen it is going to happen that we will no longer have russian ammo on the shelves that's just a fact that's an absolute fact um now, you can say at the end of this year, oh, Russia can do this, Russia can do that, and the sanctions could be lifted. It's never going to happen. It's not going to happen. There have, There has never been a time in history where sanctions on guns or ammunition have ever been lifted, and that's just a fact. So this is going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. Now, I'm not saying this to create more panic. There's been plenty of people who've already done enough of that, good enough job of that. Uh, what I'm saying, if you weren't prepared for this, you should have been like the, the, there's no doubt and i was and i am but that being said at the same time uh i went in there saturday as y'all saw rural king still had plenty of their wolf and tula in there so we went in there and got plenty these were 8.99 so what is that like 44 cents around is that a good price absolutely not is it the best price you're gonna get for a long time or forever absolutely absolutely you will not get it for less than this ever again because it's finite this this stuff is now absolutely finite the amount that's going to be in this country and that it is in this country uh now they can bring a bunch of it over but don't kid yourself it's not going back down the we will never ever again see this back down to 20 something cent 30 cent around it's never going to happen anybody who thinks it is going to happen is absolutely kidding yourself absolutely kidding yourself so long story short i picked up 20 boxes 20 20 round boxes of wolf 762 by 39 just regular 122 grain fmj so we got 400 rounds of it uh and as y'all can see today, the rest of it's completely gone. The rest of the Wolf's gone. The rest of the Tula 7.62's gone. The Tula 54R's gone. The only thing still there was the Red Army Standard. And I'm sure by the end of this weekend, that's going to be gone too. You better believe it. Now, I was surprised to see Dunham's had some of this still in there. But I can promise you, it's going to be gone too. Uh, anybody who knows anything about what's going on, it's just absolutely common sense. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So if you can find it at a decent price locally, well, I would suggest buying it. Now, I'm not saying panic and go out and ordering it at an absorbent amount of money, but that being said also, it's not going down. So, so this is, if this is a case where I've heard it for months and almost, well, a year now, I'm not buying anything till it all goes back down to where it was. It's never going back down. This especially, and none of this will ever go back down to where it was. At this point, you can forget that. If that's still what you're waiting on, you might as well make other plans because this is never going to go back down to where it was at this point. If anything, it's all going to go up again. And that's just an absolute fact. To think otherwise is just foolish and very naive uh, because this is going to have an effect on not only the steel case the ak people the mosin people but it's going to trickle up because once people can't get this they're going to start buying brass they may switch to a different caliber shoot more which is going to increase the demand on that it's it's all going to have a trickle down and trickle up effect that's a hundred percent fact so uh, I'm not saying panic and go buy it. Like I say, I, that was in there. Y'all know I'm so close to Rural King at $8.99. I picked it up because that's the cheapest I'm seeing it locally. And right now online, it's over that. It's all it's all over that. You can't get it for that cheap now online the very next day. So it's obviously happening. So take that for what you will. But I ain't gonna ramble on. I'll probably do a live Saturday and we'll talk some more about this. But uh. This is my scores for the week, y'all. Excellent scores. All of this stuff is super good deal. That, right now, it is what it is. That You know, you can call that a deal or not, but that's about the best deal you're going to get on it right now and, and ever again, in my opinion. So, my opinion, prices are going up on everything. So, sit and wait till the cows come home, but they ain't coming home at this point. I can just promise you, they ain't coming home. So, you better figure out something else to eat. Uh, let me know what's going on in y'all's area. What do y'all think about this Russian sanction deal? Have you been picking up steel case? 
uh, since you heard about this, do you plan on it or are you just plan on rolling with it and seeing what happens? So let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, if you like the videos, as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to me to see much more of my stuff coming out. My Amazon storefront affiliate link down in the description. Like I always tell you, y'all know the drill. If you do your shopping, you go through that link first. Doesn't cost you an extra penny, but we get a kickback from Amazon towards the channel. So it does help out the channel some. So I appreciate that. Appreciate all my range gang members. Appreciate each and every single one of y'all who watches my videos, hits that thumbs up, subscribes to the channel and watches all my stuff when it comes out. I got a really good video coming out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.